It is finally here, the Wagner Control Pro 190 High Efficiency Airless Sprayer, brand new out on the market, 55% less overspray. I can't wait to check this thing out. All right, so let's unbox this bad boy. You know, there's just something special about unboxing a brand new tool. You know, it just doesn't get any better. All right, so let's open this up. I'm guessing there's some assembly required with this because it does come in a smaller box. Now, this unit, they say, weighs 23.10 pounds, and I, I really have to say that it doesn't seem that heavy at all. It's actually really light when you lift up the box, but there's your handle. Let's see what we get in here. Um, you get a 50-foot hose, which is really nice because now if you're painting outside, you definitely have enough reach to get those high areas. You don't have to worry about moving around the unit. So that's really nice. Let's flip this box over. I think this is the main unit itself. All right, so this is the main unit. And I will have to say that the cord is a little bit shorter than I hoped. It is a foot, about a foot long. I wish it was a little bit longer, but hey, I have extension cords, so it's not a big deal. This bag right here, you have a lid, so there's actually two pieces of that. There's a storage area on top, and I'll show you that here in a bit that you actually snap those in, and you can store your tips and all that good stuff in there. The handle, you got your hoses, you know, your spray tip, and so on. Put this thing together here, and then once we get it together, I'll go over all the features with it. And um, okay, so let's put the main hose on here, your overflow hose. You got some clamps on there, you just push them on and then clamp them, and you are good to go with that. So, this is your little storage area, and you're going to take those two little lids here, pop the first one on just like so, and take the other, put it on the other side, clip it in just like that. And now you got a nice little storage compartment for your tips or whatever else you need to put in there. And this is a little roomy. It's pretty cool that they gave that to you. So yeah, real easy to install. All right, now handle placement. Really easy to do. Just put that there, put that there. Push in the tab, push down. Simple as that. I mean, really easy. Literally took me, what, like 50 seconds to put this thing together? All right, let's put your sprayer hose on. Just take this off here and you just screw it into the male fitting and that's it. Make sure that you tighten this with a wrench. Take the other end of the hose, take your gun and screw that on just like so. And then you can put it in this little holding area, which we'll talk about here later. Uh, and that keeps it nice and steady. So real easy. So real quick, let's go over some of the features. Right here is your on and off button and your pressure control, which allows you to go up to 1600 PSI max operating pressure. That's really good. And that little switch I just turned right there switches between prime and spray. So very easy to switch between the two. Your gun right here is extremely heavy duty, feels very solid, feels great in the hands. We'll show you that in use. Now, this right here has a flow rate of 0.40 GPM and can accommodate up to a 0.019 inch tip. So that's really nice and also supposed to reduce spray by 55%. So I like that. And the motor is 0.70 horsepower. So not bad at all for this unit. All right, so this little button right here is your pusher valve to prime the unit and all you have to do is push it in once. But yeah, you'll hear a click and you are ready to go closer look here is your prime and spray switch if you want to suck the paint up into the unit just put it on prime and then when you're ready to spray just switch it back once again on and off unit and pressure adjustment up to five that's more pressure max 1600 psi just turn it slowly while you're operating this unit closer look at the three prong plug once again i wish it was a little bit longer but it's about a foot i have an extension cord not a big deal one of the most important parts of this machine is the spray tip that goes down in like so. Now, you can see there's a little gap in there, and then you have to tighten it out. But you see this little gap in there? Do not leave a gap. See that? Don't do that. Make sure that that goes all the way down where the green is touching the black. You see that? I'm just saying, I may or may not have had a little incident. You'll see at the end of the video, I may have a little paint on me. And this right here is your lock lever device. So, real simple. And I'll tell you what, this is a two-finger trigger here, so it's really comfortable in the hand. Feels really good. 
I like it. Heavy duty, looks nice, and you got a little hanger right there. So you can put that up on your ladder or you can actually hang it on the machine itself. So make sure that tips all the way in. So right here, you actually have a built-in filter, and all you have to do is take that off and clean it when you're done with it and prevents all the gunk. And trust me, you're going to see in that paint that I use, I have a gallon of paint, and uh, it really helped me because some of that paint was starting to harden, and uh, it prevented that from getting up inside of the machine. So make sure you have that on. So the fun part begins. Let's actually get this out. I got a gallon of paint. I'm not going to use a five gallon. I'm going to use a gallon, and we will see how well it works. Let's put this in the gallon of paint, and this overflow hose, a small hose, you can actually put that in a secondary waste bucket. We're just going to put it in there and prime it. All right, so let's turn this machine on. We're going to turn it to prime. We're going to adjust it right here. We're going to put it on two. That's really all you need. Now you're going to see this is going to start pulling that paint up through into the machine. Really easy. Works very well. A lot of suction. Let's turn it up a little bit. And now you can start seeing that's going to go into the overflow. Now, when you're cleaning this gun out, you want to put that overflow into a waste bucket, right? So you can put up some clean water, some warm soapy water, and then let that overflow go into a waste bucket, and it'll clean that out. You just run a cycle or two. Let's do some spraying here. Make sure that everything is tightened on this unit, all of your air hoses, every attachment, Tighten it with the wrench. And this is just one coat right here, and it's barely using any paint. And all this is is a water-based latex paint. There's no primer on the door, but there's no spitting on this gun. There was some water on this door, just so you know. It was raining a little bit ago. Um, I tried to wipe it off, but I was just trying to show you guys how well this sprayed. But one coat, it barely uses any paint. I still got a full can. And uh, the spray spray width on this thing is 12 inches so that's really nice and you can cover a lot of areas so I don't care if you're painting a room I don't care if you're painting the outside of your house furniture standing a deck this thing has a very nice pattern very smooth it stops when you let go of that trigger and it starts right back up again with that even coat and if I were to let this tack up and come over and hit that again you would have that perfect shine and I'm not even going to let it tack up I'm just going to add a little bit more and it's just perfect perfectly coats that entire door and uh, listen I hate painting I just don't like it this makes it fun I do not like using rollers I do not like using brushes this is fun and let me adjust this door down a little bit and you can see that shine and that dried like that so if I let that tack up a little bit and hit it again it would be perfectly smooth it would be like a mirror finish this is a high gloss paint and it looked really nice when I was finished even with the, just the one coat on there so and the overspray is minimal so really really happy with that all right so just so you know the flow rate on that was 0.40 gallons per minute after you clean it out by running some water through it let it sit outside in the sun if you can and dry out there you go the Wagner Control Pro 190 high efficiency airless sprayer and you can see there's a little bit of paint on this. Once again, last time I'm going to say it, make sure that tip is in all the way. But other than that, perfect. Listen, I was really happy with the way that sprayed. It's light, it's versatile, it's strong, it's quiet, easy to move, does not take up a lot of space. There's really nothing on this unit I can say I dislike. As far as it goes with cleaning, it's not that bad. All you're going to do is take that you know, discharge hose, put that over in an empty waste bucket, and then run clean water through this unit a few times, maybe some warm soapy water, and it'll clean that out, and you can use it over and over and over again. The tip feels great. Everything about this feels heavy duty. I will say I love the storage compartment on top, and if you were to ask me if this was professional grade, absolutely do I think this is professional grade. Not to mention anyone around the house, DIY, you know, you're going to go out and paint the deck, you know, furniture. You're going to go out and do a room. It doesn't matter. I love this unit. So if you were to ask me what I would give this rating wise between one and five, I'm giving this, and it's been a while since I've given a five, I'm giving it a five star just because it works so well. And it's really going to cut down on painting for me in my house, which I do a lot of. So if this video has helped you, please thumbs up, subscribe. Check us out at www.toolreviewzone.com. And I will put a link. You can pick these up at the Home Depot. 
I'll put a link in the description. Check it out. Thanks for watching. We will see you again soon.